Hey guys, I Horror Movies here, and welcome back. Let's play Chrono Trigger. We're going to continue our way through the Black Elm, and we're going to fight a new enemy right off the bat. These these ball thingies, Boss Orb and Sidekick. And these are just like the Rubbles way back on Mount Woe. They locked all your attacks. But we what we want to do is go for the Sidekick's first thing. And let's see, should be able to kill him pretty easily. Okay, down goes one. Yeah, the nice thing about these things, these are another one of those enemies that give you a lot of experience points and TED points. I believe they give you... If you didn't kill both side kits, you'll get 100 TED points. It's 50, uh, 50 for each one, I believe. And then the uh, the boss orb, obviously the one in the middle, will give you, I think, 500 experience points and 1,000 bucks. I don't remember exactly, though. But, um, hey, we'll find out once I kill these things, if I didn't actually kill them before they run away. And I guess that's just counterattack, or... Well, not actually counterattack, that's just his actual move. Kind of annoying. Take that to that. Now let's go for the uh, boss orb. Critical hit should take care of in one hit. Nice. What do we got? A thousand experience points. Hells yeah. Two hundred head points. Oh my god, yes. Seven hundred fifty gold. All right. Magnus, Magnus, blah blah blah. Magnus learns dark matter. Fine. Now freaking Lee. All right. Since I'm guessing that each um, side kit gives you uh, fifty head points each, and the boss orb gives you a hundred. So hey, I'm happy about that. There you go. And with that, I think everyone has all their attacks. Let me just run through these all real quick. Yep. Everyone's good. And now Magnus finally has Dark Matter. Black Magic Damage. It only takes 5 MP. Obviously, I still have the Gold stat, so it normally takes 20. And yeah, with Magnus' very high magic stat, it probably beats Luminaire. The Luminaire does have the higher raw damage output. But really, Dark Matter is a little bit better than that. Let's see. Oh, you know, more of these things. Let's take two for sidekits first. Let's see. Ah, oh, Mr. Crap. Trying to rely on uh, the uh, Rainbow's critical hit percentage to take these things out. So far, I'm not having as much luck on these guys as I did last time. Let's see. Oh, nice job, Magus. Ah, uh, damn, he didn't kill it. You suck. Stop exploding all over my people. Ah, a hit. Yay. Oh, Halo missed. Fail. See critical hits, please, or hit in general. That works too. Yeah, throughout this entire battle, I'm just kind of listening to the awesome music here right now. I just love this is one of the few parts of the entire game that the normal area music also plays for the boss battles. Oh, you ran away. I mean, for the uh, not battle, not boss battles, uh, normal battles. I mean, I think this is yeah might be the only place in the, in this game that does it. I honestly don't remember. Something tells me the Ocean Palace does it too. I don't I don't think so though. I don't I don't remember just. I wanted to comment on that, because yeah, this game has, well, this part has awesome music, probably one of my favorite tracks in the entire game, really. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go for a couple more lappy sis 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 Where should we buy these things? These are, these things are freaking fantastic. There you go. Let's keep going. Um, any chance there'd be more up here? Yes, there is. Yeah, these enemies right here are the absolute best if you're still a little behind tech at this point in the game, and I was a little bit, but I mean, not, I'm obviously not anymore now. Yeah, I think really, as far as Tets go, I'm actually probably, I think I have them all, just about. I mean, I, I haven't gotten the, um, excuse me, there's a couple rocks that I haven't gotten yet for the other Tets. Um, I'll have to, I'll just show those where, where, uh, where they are later on, after they beat this part and all that fun stuff. But yeah, that'll come later. First things first, we gotta kill these guys. Uh, stop missing. Yeah, you think with a 70% critical hit rate, I'd be hitting a lot more often. Though this were Chrono Trigger DS and I had the uh, the Dream Seeker sword for Chrono, then I'd be critical, critical hitting all the freaking time. You might got a 90% critical hit rate on that weapon. That's insane in the membrane. And even so much so that I actually said that. But oh well. 500 experience points, no tech points. Yeah, I leveled up. Alright, now I'm actually the first character to hit level 50. Alright, I'm special. Alrighty, new party. Robo, Ayla, Magus. This party kits ass. So let's get fraud up there. There you go. Much better. And as usual, I need to heal up again. Robo, you come in handy with heal beam, as always, because I love you. Um, full leather. There you go, much better. Organize. Let's keep going. No more battles. Yay, good. Um, okay, these guys are new. So what do we got here? These things look freaky looking. These are metal mutes already. What can we steal from these guys? Oh, they do that. Oh, no, God, that's, that's kinky. You think that that attack drains half your HP each time it's used? 
So I want to go for a... Uh, not heal me. I want to go for a Cure Beam on Ayla. What do we steal from these guys? Ooh, another Hyper Other. All right. Um, this seems not entirely important to steal, so I'm going to go with Dark Matter. I'm hoping these guys don't absorb Dark. If they do, I'll be slightly pissed. And by slightly, I mean not really at all. I'll just be annoyed. And... Haha! Wow, almost 1,700 damage right there, and he still didn't die. Stop draining Ayla's HP or giving her a ton rape or whatever. I don't freaking know. Okay, stop that. Oh my god, these are still alive. Thank you. Critical hit Magnus. No, that's that's not a critical hit. You suck. Crimson Rain, HP down. That probably won't hurt that much. Five. Yeah, that really hurts. Alrighty. Ooh, a lot of experience points. I don't need 10 points anymore. No one actually does, really. Alrighty, Robo's on 50. Actually, before I take them out, I want to use a quick heal beam. Real quick. I wonder how many times I've used heal beam throughout this LP. Really don't know. Oh, sweet, Robo has max HP. Now I want to give him the uh, Crisis Arm. As I mentioned before, the attack changes below 10 HP, but essentially what that means is it's based on your third digit of your HP. Since I have max HP, when he's, at, when he's at full HP, he will deal a shit ton of damage. And also, when his third digit is also 9 for anywhere else, really. So, yeah, Robo is now kick ass even more so than normal. So let's, let's see, let's go ahead and take him out and put in Fraud. There we go. Let's keep going. Still have a lot of enemies around here to show. There's a crap ton around here. Like these guys. The uh, little red thingies. These are familiar from the Ocean Palace. You're Flyclops. It's original, I guess. Ow, stop doing that. We'll see if I didn't steal from these guys. Um, I want to say I didn't steal the, uh, uh, oh god, what is it? The, the thing Magnus has. Uh, the gold, gold stud. Yes, yes, that. I think. I don't remember off the top of my head, but we'll find out right about now. Haha, it is a gold stud. All right. Well, I want to go with Dark Matter first. Don't really need that many gold studs. If anything, maybe give one to, uh, maybe Ayla. Or actually, everyone can really use them, really, because all their ultimate attacks. Oh, that kind of sucks. Go with Mass Immune, too. Take that. Ow, 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 quit it, ow. No, oh, crap, he needs healed. Um, Fraud, let's go tier 2 on yourself. Uh, Magnus, we'll go for another Dark Matter. Ayla, if you can charm another Gold Stud from this thingy, that'd be fantastic. And tier 2, even though, the thing about tier 2, it actually says it restores your max HP. Like, Marley's tier 2 does, but Fraud does it, it just brings back a lot of HP. I don't know why. Which just shows why Marley's a better mage than Fraud. And these things are still alive. Well, does he? Uh, obviously, they have high magic resistance. So, yay, more gold studs. I'll more than likely use those later on, depending on who actually needs them the most or whatever. And these things should be down in the double twisted gold hats. I hope. There we go. Still no sign of Queen Zeal anything lately. She must just be chilling way in the back somewhere. I mean, this is a really long part, so one would one would expect that. Um, ooh, a teleporter. Um, are those panels being fighting in the back? Um, they look like them, obviously, but I don't think we can. Okay. Let's go on the magical teleporter and see where we go. Oh, he just, he just vanished. That works too, I guess. There you go, let's keep going. Let's see, oh god. Elevator, you know what that means, guys. Random battle elevator up the ass. Let's see, let's go Lapis. Um, let's go for a mid-ether on Magus and Ayla and Frog too. Ah, alrighty, this will be fun. Um, random battles. Hello? Oh, nothing. One thing I want to show off real quick. We can run in circles, unlike Final Fantasy VII, when you run around in squares. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy VII lately, actually. I just started a new game in that just yesterday. Very, very, very fun game, obviously. I mean, hell, you guys have probably all played it before. But yeah, I will definitely be LPing that. That's one of the many, many games I have on my list. And I, for one, can I did not mean to do that. Again, that's my freaking controller. That the A button stitched because it's an asshole. Yeah, I'm swearing a lot more than this video. I don't really care. I was out of frustration because Modern Warfare 2. I was just playing that literally about five minutes ago. Well, actually, no. It would have been about like 
15 minutes ago. Because 5 minutes ago, I'd still be recording right now. Durr. Can't run. Please kill the runs away. Frickin' Apen, stop sticking, you dick. Just let go. There you go. Thank you. Okay, I think that's about it for today's episode, guys. So next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger, we will once again continue our way through the Black Omen and see if we can find Queen Zeal and see if she has any more of those mutant friends of hers for us to be friends with. This has been Iron Movie Sign Off, guys. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.